Greetings builders and welcome back to our 12 starter builds for Crucible. If you missed the part 1 I released about an hour ago, don't worry, you can find its link in the video description together with the POB and complete guide for all those builds. Let's start this video with an all-time favorite of many players even on different games. I'm of course talking about the spin to wing Super Cyclone Slayer with the Duelist class. This build turns you into a walking blender with a huge area of effect, damage, speed and now even instant reach. To ease the pros of this build I would start with its clear speed. It's just amazing to be always moving and massacring all the poor enemies on the way. The boss damage is also amazing, once the build is done you are going to kill even the biggest bosses in seconds. Above all of that, this build is also very simple to put together, it doesn't need any mandatory unique item. Now to list the cons I would point a few important issues and I would like to ask you to pay close attention here. You see, this build has a great survivability once it's done, but when you're leveling your character you need to pace your progression because you're always very close to enemies. If you are not prepared, you are going to die. So take the extra time to pick up a few more levels before progressing to a high tier content. Another useful tip about your survivability is how to deal with stuns. On this build you get stun immunity with cluster jewels, but not everyone can afford them right away. In that case, while you don't have your cluster jewels, do this simple trick of picking those evasion nodes and this mastery. Believe me, it helps a lot. As for budget, I can only estimate it for now, but normally you can get it destroying early endgame maps with only around 90 chaos. To comfortably advance to yellow maps, you need to invest around 115 chaos, and for easily completing your atlas, I recommend investing around 6 divines. Don't forget that on poebuilds.net you can find a list with all the equipment you need to buy for this build, with direct links with examples being sold from other players. For clear speed, I would give it 10 out of 10. Cyclone never stops moving and you can farm your maps without needing to stop for casting or anything like that. It's just awesome and very satisfying. The boss damage is great and deserves 9 out of 10. Prepare yourself to destroy even the biggest bosses in just a few seconds. Now for the survivability I'll only give 8 out of 10. But don't get me wrong, this build still has over 80,000 effective HP because of high armor, evasion, spell suppression and instant life reach. I just took the two points out because they're always very close to enemies, which puts you in a vulnerable position. Now let's move to a real classic, the Essence Drain Occultist with the Witch class. Essence Drain is a skill that drains the life of your enemies and even restores your life by a percentage of the damage dealt. Since it can only be used in one enemy at a time, we also use Contagion to spread the damage, resulting in an amazing increase in career speed. To read the pros of this build, I would start with how easy it is to play. You just need to cast Contagion and Essence Drain to watch the whole screen of enemies melting before your eyes. This character is also very easy to put together because it doesn't need any mandatory unique item, and above all of that, it's very safe with many defensive layers. Now to list the cons, the first thing that comes to my mind is the boss damage. Even though this is a very cheap build, you need to invest several divine orbs to have a big single target damage. But don't worry too much about that, this build is meant as a red map farmer and it kills map bosses easily even on a low budget. As for budget, this build is very cheap, you can get it destroying early endgame maps with only around 35 chaos. To comfort by advance to yellow maps you need to invest around 100 chaos and for easily completing your atlas I recommend investing around 4 divines, but you can totally do it with less. For clear speed I'll give this build 10 out of 10. When you get a big area of effect in your contagion, you kill enemies way beyond your sight with only one cast. The boss damage on the other hand is a 7 out of 10. It will take longer than usual to kill guardians and pinnacle bosses, but you have no problem against regular map bosses. For the survivability I'll give it 9 out of 10. This build comes with over 100,000 effective HP because of high armor, high evasion, spell suppression, amazing life regeneration and even a little bit of block chance. Finally, we have the Summon Raging Spirits Guardian with the Templar class. As you might know, minion builds are among the best starters out there. This one is in my opinion the winner. It's a very simple and safe build for you to complete all content without much investment or effort. Awesome for beginners. To list the pros of this build, I would start with how accessible it is. It's super cheap, simple and easy to play. This build is for everyone. It also comes with a great boss damage and survivability. Now, to list the cons, I'll start saying that Raging Spirits have a short duration, and this means that you need to keep recasting them while playing. 
this might reduce your speed a little. Other than that, this build also doesn't have access to evasion or reach. As for budget, you can get it destroying early in-game maps with only around 66 chaos. To comfort for advanced to yellow maps, you need to invest around 100 chaos and for easily completing your atlas I recommend investing around 4 devices, but you can totally do it with less. For clear speed, this build gets 8 out of 10. This is because you have to keep resummoning your raging spirits. But as you can see, even though this spirit speed isn't super fast, it's perfectly fine to play and have a good time. The boss damage is great, it's a 9 out of 10. If you apply all the buffs and maintain 20 spirit summon, you easily reach over 15 million DPS, more than enough to decimate all endgame bosses in seconds. For the survivability, I'll give it 10 out of 10. This is because we're talking about a minion build where you just need to summon them and wait behind while they destroy and tank everything for you. You just need to mind your position. But with this build, even if they manage to reach you, you still have high armor and block chance, resulting in an effective HP of over the 130,000. And that concludes the second part of the 12 starter builds for Crucible. Stay tuned that the next video is coming less than an hour. And of course, you can find the links for the other parts in the video description. I will see you soon, and don't forget to keep building.